a YouTube. <coughs> a uh, buddy of mine, if you remember that brown truck I fixed the uh, cab mounts on a couple weeks ago, uh, when he bought that truck from the, he actually bought it from a dealer for I think $2,500. And what happened was, you know, you can't expect a lot for $2,500. What happened was when the dealer sold it to him, he asked them to change oil and stuff in it, and they did. And when they did, the engine started to make a rapid noise. Now that's this engine that I have here. So they gave him another engine, and um, this one here, uh, I told him I would take it, if nothing else, just for the pistons. But I'm curious to see what's wrong with it. If you look at the, the spark plugs, and they seem to be very white. Now white uh, might indicate um, water in there, but the thing is, is all of them are white, and this last one you can see, I don't think that thing was firing much, and the weird thing is the both end, uh, what would that be, number seven and number eight, were clogged up like that. So I gotta, I'm not positive of what the problem is, you can see these aren't that bad. <clears throat> but I want to see. Uh, and the other thing was that this truck is, I think, uh, a 96 engine. And the thing about it is um, he also gave all the parts to it. <clears throat> this water pump had been replaced on the thing. The thing that I was happy about was a distributor, and they had redone the spark plug wires, so the spark plug wires are new. And the throttle body, if you buy a new throttle body around here, <coughs> a throttle body costs you 400 bucks. So this actually looks fairly good at this point. What I'll do is take it apart and I'll rebuild it and then I'll put it on my truck and see how it runs. Other than that, um, you know, it's just an, an old engine that somebody dropped off basically. Uh, also, the manifolds sometimes for Chevy engines are hard to come by. They're cast iron manifolds. Even though you can get them at the junkyard, they're usually, you know, something wrong with them. Now, these here, they cut off the bolts that go to the muffler, so that's going to be tough to get out. Um, but I can cut them off and then drill them out, and then I'll have a set of those if I need. So anyway, that's my latest thing to be doing. It's not bad. It's supposed to rain this the rest of this week and snow. I see it's, oh, it's starting to flurry out there now. We had lost all of our snow. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to tear this down. It's a Chevy V8. I'm not sure what size it is. It might be a 5.7. It might be smaller. I'll have to look up the number and see what's what with it. But um, that's where I stand at the moment. So I'll let you just know how it goes. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I used this engine stand. The front wheel on it is a little bit frozen. Uh, it's sprayed some oil on it. Hopefully it'll move. I had actually welded this rack on here because I could take that out <coughs> of the stand and put a generator on there and slip it in the tongue of my truck. But anyway, we're going to take this apart in the next couple of weeks and see what's going on here. Alright guys, have a good one.